If you are watching this, you have been a recent victim of crime and most definitely will have felt some of these thoughts and feelings. As a victim, you may feel extremely vulnerable, targeted and unsure how the youth offending team through restorative justice can help you. Restorative justice is not a new philosophy. Records indicate it has been used by communities for several thousand years. We, here at the Youth Offending Team, can help put things right and heal relationships, ensuring that those directly affected by crime are involved in the process and that your wishes are given careful consideration. We work with young people up to the age of 18 who are either in custody or have been convicted of an offence and given a court order. We, here at the Youth Offending Team, help rehabilitate the young person, reducing the likelihood of them reoffending and letting them take responsibility for their actions. Furthermore, and just as important, we work with the victims of crime, helping to put right some of the harm that has been caused. When I came back from work on that Monday and I walked in, I, I was just lost for words, I was speechless. I just couldn't believe what I was looking at. What I'd worked for for 25 years just trashed all over the floor. I can't tell you how it made me feel. I thought, there's no way I'm ever going to come back from this. I've been robbed. When I first left school, I'd, I was having a bit of an hard time, really. I couldn't find a job. I had no money, I weren't getting on my family, and I started hanging around with the wrong crowd. I was just walking down the street with me, I saw this woman leaving her house. So he was like, come on, let's go check this out, let's go have some stuff from the house. And I'd not done anything like that before, and I kind of felt pressured into it. But we ended up going round the back, jumping over the gate. So I tried the door and the door was locked so I booted it in and then I saw a laptop and I took it and a camera and a phone. When my officer told me how much it had affected her, it I, it made me feel sick. The way the way it just would hurt someone like that and I know how it'd hurt my mum if someone did that to her. When the, the youth offending team practitioner first came around to visit, uh, which was soon after the um, initial crime, she was really helpful and um, she put me in the picture about uh, the different services that they could provide in order to help me and the family try to come to terms with what had happened. Um, I was probably I think it was around that time that she did mention the option of restorative justice to me. Uh, and initially I really wasn't enamoured with the idea at all. Um, I didn't think anything good would be able to come of me meeting this young man. Uh, I felt very angry towards him. Um, and I didn't really think it would be a productive thing to do. The idea of restorative justice is to allow the victim to actually come face to face with the person that's caused them harm. It's a really, really good way for the victim to actually put to bed some of the fears that they've had around the person that's actually caused them harm. I mean, often in my experience, and I'm one of the programme directors for restorative justice, is that people have an image in the mind of what the harmer actually looks like, and they live in fear. Now, if they go down the traditional court justice system, they don't get the chance to actually see the person that's caused that harm. By sitting face to face, they can ask them, they can ask them questions about why they picked that particular person, why they picked that address, etc. Uh, and it actually gives the victim an opportunity to engage with that person. I think more importantly, it's a conversation that can be had and it will, as I say, it puts some of those fears aside that this wasn't actually a crime of personal crime. It was just that this was an opportunity because it was an insecure property or there was valuables on display. Restorative conferencing is a method of bringing together the victim and the young person in a safe environment to discuss the impact of the offence. At the meeting it's facilitated by the youth offending team. Both the victim and the young person can bring supporters with them, such as members of the family, friends or members of the community. At the meeting the young person is encouraged to take responsibility for their actions and we look for a way to move forward. 
This is one of the most powerful tools that we have for repairing the harm caused. Shuttle mediation is when the victim, through the youth offending team, asks questions that the young person will try and answer. Questions such as, why did you choose me? Why did you burgle me? Why did you steal my car? Will it happen again? Anything that's on their mind. I wanted to say sorry. I just didn't know I was going to say it to her. I didn't know I was going to put it forward. The letter of apology involves the young person thinking about the impact of their offence has had on the victim. It helps them to understand the hurt that they've caused. Each person on a court order has to complete some sort of reparation. An example of this could be painting a fence or tidying a garden. The victim chooses whether the young person attends a project set by the youth offending team or alternatively one chosen by the victim themselves. At first I was really anxious about the um, idea of restorative justice and the idea of meeting this young man face to face but then um, the youth offending team practitioner reassured me um, said it would all be done under controlled circumstances and if at any time I changed my mind or I didn't feel comfortable about going ahead with it then it wouldn't be a problem for me to, to back out. If you have been a victim of crime, restorative justice can help learn about the offender and put a face to the crime. Encourage you to express your feelings and needs. You will also receive an apology which may help repair the hurt caused. Educate the offender about the effects of the crime on you, the victim, and encourage them to accept responsibility for their actions. Get closure from the offence and help you to move on.